Well, have you ever had someone come up to you, maybe your kids, your spouse, a friend or grandparent with some information they found online and you're thinking, where did you see that? Where did you get that from? That's not legit. Well, there are more and more ways to find information. Unfortunately, it's not always true. Joining me today is Sue Ellen Christian, Presidential Innovation Professor in Communication at Western Michigan University and creator of a federally funded website dedicated to helping people navigate media use and news consumption. Thank you so much for being with us, Sue Ellen. Thanks for An important me. conversation. Let's just first talk about Wonder Media Library and how this all came about. It came about through my studies of journalism and it evolved into media literacy. I created a course, wrote a book, and uh, the book was so full of information that I wanted everyone to know that I created a museum exhibit, which uh, ran for 21 months at the Kalamazoo Valley Museum. About 137,000 people went through it and I was really encouraged by librarians and educators to put it online so that more people would have access to this really important and critical information. Well, there are plenty of, you know, fake images, articles out there. Give us an example of one. Well, um, from Hurricane Helene, there was an image of a young girl holding a puppy. Many people might have seen it. Mm -hmm. And yes, and uh, what I'd like to highlight about this particular image, um, while it's very compelling, it's not real. And here's some that it's not real. For starters, visually, just taking a really good look at the image, um, her skin is extremely smooth uh, in a kind of an unreal way. Um, her expression is exaggerated, particularly her eyebrows. And um, if you look um, at her hands more closely, you'll see um, some blurring around her fingertips and things. These are all clues that it's an artificial um, it's created by AI, artificial intelligence, which means it's not real, it's not authentic. Um, and it was part of a campaign to um, try and be critical about the federal government's efforts in support of people who are, are, were affected by this very traumatic event. Um, mm -hmm. One way you would also know is that if you do a reverse image search of this image, um, there is not an origin, there's not a source to this photo, and it's not from a news source or any legitimate source. Mm -hmm. So how do you spot a fake? Kind of those, you have six points, right? Yes. Walk us through those steps right there. Yes, yes, so for starters, um, know that people are trying to deceive us when we're online. So just be a critical consumer and don't believe everything that you see. Mm -hmm. So that's part of it, is having this critical thinking mindset. Um, knowing that disinformation is information that's created to deceive. Um, once you, um, realize that that is the problem that we're confronting. Uh, what you should do about it is first pause and not share um, anything that you are not sure is factual. Mm -hmm. so, well, how do you check that? For starters, I re mentioned reverse image search. If you're really concerned about an image, you can put that in Google Images and it'll let you know if it has shown up many, many places on the internet. It's one clue that this is a suspicious, suspicious photo that you should be wary of. The other thing is to think about your own emotions. Mm -hmm. If you are finding yourself, Amber, really upset and um, um, emotional about something that you see on social media, oftentimes that, that it is created to get that emotion so that you'll share it um, because you are angry or upset. And part of critical thinking is stopping, looking at the source of the information, thinking about um, is the information have evidence? Can I figure if this is true? Is it fact-based? And um, then checking what other sources say is extremely helpful. Go off the, the site that you're on or the website and really think about um, what other trusted sources might say about it. And I do think fact-checking sites can be very helpful. In fact, they were very helpful in identifying the image that we looked at as a deep fake. Okay, and before we go, walk us, show us a little bit of Wonder Media Library. I think we have some images yeah. from your site and Thanks. give us a tour of it. Great, thank you, I'd love to. WonderMediaLibrary.com. I invite all ages to explore this website that is really for you, uh, ages 10 and up, but all ages. And um, it's filled with videos, interactives, activities, and games to become a smarter media user and also a more critical news and information consumer. It's a really fun site and what we're finding is librarians are going into schools and educators are also using in the classroom these various tools to engage students in a fun way to be more equipped to manage all of the information and media that comes at us through our phones.
Very awesome. Thank you so much for being with us. Yes, if you'd like to learn you. more about Wonder Media Library, you can find the link in this story on our website, woodtv.com. We'll have that up there in just a few minutes.